Who's proposing to buy the Watson Town Elementary? And which three haunted attractions in Pennsylvania have made the national top 10 list? Today is Wednesday, October 11th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Mostly sunny today, a high in the mid-60s. Governor Josh Shapiro has ordered all U.S. and Commonwealth flags at all Commonwealth facilities, buildings, and grounds to fly at half-staff through Friday to honor the lives lost after the deadly attacks in Israel. There may be a buyer for the former Watsontown Elementary building. The Standard Journal reports CSIU is proposing to purchase the site for the appraised value of $610,000. The Warrior Run School District vacated the school in 2016 and now rents it out to CSIU and the Luzerne County Community College. A Cole Township teenager missing for a month has been located. The Daily Item reports 16-year-old Richard Jelinski III was found Tuesday morning in a home in Chemokin. He went missing on September 7th. The Jersey Shore School District is looking into adding bocce ball to their sports lineup. The sport would fall under the category of unified sports, where both special education and regular education students would be included. The two groups of students would train and compete as equal teammates on teams that are regarded like every other interscholastic sports team. The borough of Montoursville has received a $382,000 grant to help recruit more volunteers at the Willing Hand Hose Company. The money will also be used to help the company pay a stipend or a per pay call. A bear scratched a boy who was camping at the Ricketts Glen State Park Sunday. The child was in a tent when he heard noises and discovered there was a bear outside. He swatted at the tent and the bear swatted back, scratching the boy in the brief encounter. The child was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Game wardens told WBRE they're attempting to capture and relocate that Bruin. The annual knit and run was once again a success. The prayer shawl ministry at the Bald Eagle United Presbyterian Church in Mill Hall knits and crochets items for people in need. The ministry partnered with the Susquehanna Valley Big Twins Motorcycle Club, and that group helped deliver many of the 330 items on Saturday. The Phantom Hacker Scam is the newest scam targeting seniors. First, they pose as a tech support rep and convince the victim to download a piece of software. Then they call a second time, pretending to be from the victim's bank. The third call, they claim to be an employee of a federal agency. The goal is to convince people to move their money into an alias account. And you scream, I scream, we all scream. Three Pennsylvania haunted attractions have made the top 10 list as the best haunted houses and attractions in the U.S. According to USA Today in a poll of readers, Halloween nights at Eastern State Penitentiary in Philly, the Bates Motel and Haunted Hayride in Glen Mills, and Field of Screams in Mountville all made the top 10. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.